Joined by our panelists here in the studio, Martina Anderson. She is an Irish MEP with Sinn Féin and belongs to the group of the European United Left. And we have Brian McGuire, reporter with Euractive here in Brussels. All right, first of all, what does this really mean? You know, okay, no renegotiation, we've heard that. But there is a possibility for interpretation, clarification. Okay, what does that mean? I think it's, uh, you've got to put this in the context of what she wants and what she's going to get. Theresa May wants something she can give to the DUP and to her radical wing within her party, the ERG. And uh, anything which isn't legally binding, they won't accept. There is no chance, from what I've heard today, talking to, to parties from all across the, the spectrum here today, there's no chance that's going to happen. Anything that she gets is going to be nice, warm words. Uh, she'll be able to bring this back to, to Westminster. She hasn't got the numbers to make this happen. So a reassurance in good faith was not going to work. No, it's, good. it's not going to cut it. It's not, it's got, it's got to be legally binding. All right, Martina, you, um, we heard there that uh, Leo Varadkar said uh, the possibility, floated the possibility of, of revoking Article 50. Do you think this is the right way to go? Well, we heard from the court last week, the European Court of Justice has said that that was in the gift of the British establishment. It wouldn't surprise me if they, uh, if they revoked it and then immediately invoked it. Um, that said, look, no one knows the British in the British establishment better than us. We have been in negotiations with them for longer than what we care to remember. And we know their negotiation tactics. And we've tried to explain this to the EU, to the chief negotiator, Michel Barnier and others. Their tactic is, and has been, and has played itself out across Europe for everyone to assess, is they get you to the negotiation table. They get you to sign off in an agreement and as soon as the ink is dried, they leave the table and they negotiate downwards. And when we had the joint report of December of last year, we mm. told them that that would happen. So and how this can the EU react to that? How can, how, how can, so what can the EU do now? Because clearly they all want to help Theresa May. How can, what, what can they do? Yeah, well, they have said today and they've said yesterday, for instance, the one thing they can't do is renegotiate. So the withdrawal agreement is what it is. The backstop is legally binding, it's legally operable, but the words are there and the clues in the word because it's unless and until. So it's like I was flying today from Strasbourg to, to Brussels and you have a parachute. You hope mm. you're never going to use it, but it's there unless you, uh, uh, there if you need it. So, you know, people hope that we don't need the backstop, but for the Good Friday Agreement and for Ireland, it is absolutely it is. necessary. And that we, my wee Good Friday Agreement, there's been many <laughs> of the MEPs now right. in the European Parliament to understand and to why the backstop is yeah, necessary. Yeah, you Let me just say, uh, I don't think everybody wants to help Theresa May in this. I okay. spoke to different, I uh, have people from every party here and from different countries today. Okay, so I'm, who doesn't want? <laughs> I'm, I can't say who doesn't want. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> but uh, on, but I can tell you what they want to see is, the, is Article f uh, 50 withdrawn. They want to see a second referendum. They don't have confidence that's going to happen, but that's what they would like to see. They would like this to be as difficult as possible for as long as possible so that Theresa May is out of options and has, has to seriously consider the referendum. So basically, you're, are you saying that what they want is a no Brexit? Yes, I think uh, virtually everybody around the table would prefer a no Brexit. Uh, they won't interfere in the British political process yet, but that's changing. And we saw a number of people today put their heads up and say, look, let's think about this really. You have the option of Article 50, that's clear. Uh, you're stuck in, in, and you don't have the numbers to get this through in Parliament and Westminster. Think about it. And you really can't say any names? No.